Good morning, everybody. Uh, so today we're going to start our uh, sampling project. So I'm here in Google Classroom. This is the WHS one, but eighth and ninth graders yours looks the same. We're going to go to classwork and under week of 928 to 102, uh, we should have this Thursday 101 assignment programming famous breakbeats. If I view the assignment, I have all my directions right here. And I have two resources here. One is Soundtrap and one is this uh, Google Sheet, okay? The first thing I'm gonna do is click on Soundtrap in the Google Classroom assignment. It's super important, super important. Let me uh, highlight my, my circle here. It's super important that you use this link and you don't just go into Soundtrap. If you just go into Soundtrap, I won't be able to get to it, okay? So when I click on that, it's gonna open up something that looks like this. Let me delete this, because yours won't look like mine. Yours should look like mine looks right now. You should have two tracks, and let me change this back to vanilla. This is what yours should look like. Two drum tracks, sampling and famous breakbeats, okay? And then the other folder you're gonna open is this Google Sheet. And what I have here is a collection of a bunch of different um, famous breakbeats uh, from hip hop and rock and rap music. I have a ton of these. Um, I have some templates down here as well, okay? Today, we're gonna focus on these four beats, the Amen Brother Break, part one, two, three, and four. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna program these beats into Soundtrap, okay? The first thing I need to do is go to uh, my loop, my cycle tool, and double click that so it's purple, okay? And again, from the last video, I could also do that over here. If I click on cycle mode, it gets me, um, into the cycle mode, okay? And then I'm gonna drag this back so I have one, two, three, four measures showing. Now, some of your screens might look like this where you're missing numbers. If you're on a computer, if you hold control and then scroll up on the mouse, it's gonna zoom in for you like this so you can see more numbers. If you're on a Chromebook, if you hold control and then use two fingers on the trackpad and scroll up, it will also zoom in. Okay, so this is what we want to see. One, two, three, four measures. Okay, I'm going to put my amen break on this track, this first track. So if I click on the drum, here's the instrument panel that we've worked with before. We're going to go to patterns. And what I'm going to notice now, if I scroll this across, I have four measures that I can input. And I have one, two, three, four. The amen break that we're going to sequence today is four measures long. So if I pull this out, we minimize it. So the first measure is this Amen Brother Part 1. Okay, and what we're going to notice is that we have a hi-hat every other square. One and two and three and four and. Those are eighth notes. So if I come back here, one and two and three and four and. There's my hi-hat part for the first measure. Okay. My snare is on beat two, the uh of two, e of three, four, and a. Uh. So two, a, uh, e, four, and a. Uh. So over here, two, a, uh, e, four, and a. Uh. Now if I just look, these boxes in here in Soundtrap should match these boxes on the spreadsheet. And then my kick drum, one and, and a. Uh. One and, and a. Uh. Now if I hit the space bar and play this, it should sound like this. And then because I don't have any music over here, there's, there's nothing to hear. But my first measure sounds like this. Okay, now we're gonna go on, oops, sorry, we're gonna go on to the second measure. So if I scroll over, here's measure two. And if we look at Amen Brother part two, we have the exact same pattern as part one. I'm just gonna duplicate that. So hi-hat is gonna do eighth notes. My snare drum, two, now right here, I know it says cut time in this column right here. Don't pay attention to that. Pay attention to common time column, okay? We have two, uh, e, four, and uh. So two, e, and uh, three, e, and uh, four, e, and uh. So there's my snare, and then the kick drum, one, and, and then the and of three. One, and, here's beat three, three, e, and uh. So now if I go back to the beginning, I have the same thing for two bars. When I get to measure three, we're blank because we haven't sequenced that yet, okay? So now we're gonna move on to Amen Brother part three. This is the third measure. This is where it changes, okay? 
So our hi-hat is going to stay the same. Now I know you have an open hi-hat here. I'm going to get to that in a minute. But your hi-hat stays the same. Three and four and. The snare changes to two, uh, E, and then the, uh, I'm sorry, the and of four. Two, uh, E of three, and of four. So two, uh, E, and of four. And your kick is one and, and then the and of three. So one and, here's two, here's three, E, and. Should sound like this. And then that gets us to measure four. So now we're gonna go over to measure four in a minute. There we go, we'll scroll over. And here's measure four. Now the first thing you're gonna notice is that we have this open hi-hat right here. We have this open hi-hat on uh, the end of three. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a track right here. Now on my screen, it automatically adds open hi-hat. If yours doesn't, if you click right here with this little down arrow, you have a menu right here and you can choose hi-hat open, okay? So the hi-hat in measure four, one and two and three, and is open hi-hat, four and. So hi-hat, one, closed, one and two and three, open and, four and. And the snare is E, two, a, uh, E and and. E of one, two, a uh of two, E of three, and the and of four. E, two, a, uh, E, and. So E, two, a, uh, E, and and. And then the kick drum, and a, uh, and of three. And a, uh, oop, and of three. Correct? Let me double check that. Oh, I'm sorry, I did that wrong, didn't I? It's actually and, uh, no, yeah, the and of three. I'm on the end of four here. I need to go to the end of three. So and, uh, and of three. Now, if I did this correctly, it should sound like this. And then because my cycle tool is on, it's just gonna keep looping back and forth, okay? I'm gonna click save. I'm gonna change the name of this track. I'm gonna double click on vanilla and I'm gonna change that to amen. Hit enter, save again. Okay, so now I have the amen break sequenced up here. Check out the next video for what to do next.